Have you ever been shot in a game and wondered how the person has seen you so quickly? You didn't even see the enemy come round the corner. By the time you had done, it was too late. This could be lag. This is where data takes time to go to or come from the game server you are playing on. This is a bonus tutorial here in the FPS series where I compare wireless connections versus wired connections. So this is a general scenario. At home you have a laptop, PC. That's connected to your router at home via a cable or wireless. And then your router is connected to the internet and then eventually it goes along the line until you get to the game server. So your PC or laptop when you're playing games sends messages to the game server and then the game server sends a message back. For every step your data takes to get to the game server or to come back from the game server, it takes a little bit of time. So the more time it takes, the more lag that will appear in your game. There is very little that you can do to speed up things in this area here of the internet and the game server network. So we're gonna have a look at what we can do within our own networks to try and speed up and to make our network as fast as possible when we're playing games. So this is an example here of a game, and this is a game server lobby. So you can see here on the right hand side is the latency of all these game servers. So the idea here is to select a server that's got the lowest latency, the lowest amount of lag. And this goes from 19 all the way up to 883. So if I right click on one of these servers, I can actually get the server info. So I can actually now use the IP address to ping the server to check out how fast or how long it takes the information to get to that server from my computer. So in a command prompt, I've typed ping and then the IP address of the server. So you can see here that the time it takes or the effective time it takes to send and receive data is 87 milliseconds. So that's quite high. You're aiming for as low as possible. So the lower this number, the less lag you're going to receive. If I do the same thing now by selecting one of the servers in the game lobby that has a very low latency, if I find the IP address by right clicking again and then go into my command prompt and type in ping space and then the IP address of the server, you can now see in this instance that the actual latency or the time it's taken to send the information and receive it is a lot less than the previous server. So servers that have lower latencies, you would experience lower amounts of lag. So the final question here is, is a wired connection at home better than having a wireless connection? Is there any difference? So first of all, I'm gonna test my connection, which is currently connected wirelessly to the gaming server. You can see with a wireless connection, the time of the pings sometimes jumps from 16 to 60. So there's this tiny bit of lag there. What's happening there is that sometimes wireless connections are a little bit inconsistent sending data and that is because of a number of different things. So for example, if your computer is a long way away from the actual wireless router, your wireless data has to travel through all these different walls and doors and that produce, produces latency. It takes longer for the data to get to the wireless router. So with wireless connections, it can be a little bit inconsistent if you are a long distance away from the wireless router. So if I now plug the cable into my computer and perform the same test, you can see that the ping results are a little bit more consistent. They don't jump around so much. So this is going to be beneficial for us when we're playing games. We're gonna receive less lag. So in general, if you can connect your computer using a cable to the router at home when you're playing games, then that's probably going to improve your experience playing games.